Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Humanity Overview. This is quite different in its own genre and it has like a lot of titles and awards under its belt. So it's gonna be interesting how it's gonna unravel on the quest platform because it is a port from PC VR. I mean, more unique stuff is always better if it's for the longevity of the platform or just having a variety of games not being copy-paste around. So Humanity is a third-person action puzzle game where you're gonna be commanding a lot of moving objects in the space by being a small dog leader that leads the crowds to their demise, salvation or whatever they want to using a variety of platformer mechanics and have a command over your community. First what is sticking out to me is the whole UI used because it doesn't necessarily blend itself into the environments nor the game's artistic approach and it's kind of flying over the whole perspective so I wonder if it's gonna be like an issue with the whole cohesiveness of the project. I will say that it is very simplistic but just because there's so much going on on the screen that you'd be just staring and that's the whole gameplay like the behavioral patterns of the people and interactions, strategic approach, like there's a lot of stuff packed in into a seemingly basic and unpolished mess. I am intrigued about the whole storyline as well because it doesn't seem like a completely brainless puzzler with no story nor point going on, like there is actually something to look forward to, kind of philosophy or an idea where the game goes which is appreciated and it also is heavily leaning into user generated content and just the creativity all across the board. I think it might go either way whether it's gonna bring something fresh and innovative to the store or be an outdated chaos that doesn't really make sense. It is definitely fascinating to look at and I'm very curious how it's gonna turn out and if the quest committee will gladly accept it. Let's go to the gameplay! Okay, cool. What the? <laughs> Is this a horror game? <laughs> oh my god. So we steal the dog and the perspective is pretty big like this takes really big visual aspect <laughs> So we just threw the camera from third person and then we command the people, but like they are going on their own accord. <laughs> They're like cutscenes. So they're just going in a straight line then and I need to give some commands. So they will just fall off the cliff? Cool. <laughs> just like our society. Okay, this is rather intuitive then. Do they move block by block? Yes, okay. I want as well.
<laughs> That's very different. I will turn down the volume because it's pretty loud up on here. Rewarded with what? Hey! Oh, I need to do the direction in their own like line can they jump not necessarily <laughs> Okay. What the hell? Well, this group will be just stuck there forever. I mean, now I get the... What are you doing here? The UI implementation and just stuff like that. Ah... Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, at least they don't fall off the cliff. Oh, how nice and philosophical. <laughs> Up to two blocks. <laughs> Again, this humanitarian stuff going on. like push them can I like change the height I can only jump in two blocks myself And those golden ones, they stay in place after even being picked up, so I need to come back for it. Okay, so there's some backtracking. Oh, 
Okay, it's just with a button adjustable the height. <laughs> Chaos. That's interesting this is an upgrade and not like a standard feature. But cool, I suppose. How do I climb through this glass? Now the Goldie. No! Yeah, I can't stop them from going, so... Which means I lost them permanently, so I need to reset. So I should, like, plan accordingly to what's going on. <laughs> and to climb it myself. So now we can accelerate. That's interesting, the quest can handle that many objects moving. I mean, this quest free after all, but... Still could be demanding, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting, this is considered a reward. I can't really stop playing, this is pretty relaxing and just like a right amount of puzzle, intrigue and just this kind of vibe. <laughs> Am I a paddle? Uh huh. But is this specific to the stage or permanent? I'm not a paddle, but it kind of seemed by my feet. Oh, they're going here. Thank <laughs> you. 
What the? <laughs> It's cute. <laughs> like there's not much to say. It's still a prologue. And this is the last one. Okay, cool. Oh, this is a huge stage. <laughs> what? But why? Ah, transport myself, okay. A liquid. Oh, this is like a mirror image. I think that will be it. A big pillar. But I'll stop here, I don't want to spoil. And I'll probably continue this because this is very, very fun. <laughs> I would say from the level of graphics and kind of like basic stuff going on, I would not expect to enjoy it as much. But it really has a nice charm to it. Everything is like understandable, clear and literally every person, does not matter if you're into puzzles in general or not, could get into it and enjoy it as much. No, not really. Like the storyline is intriguing, the mechanics and just all across the board the game is. I wouldn't say flawless because I feel like the graphics kind of hold it back, but it's not all about that and the game is definitely one of the best and most unique games of this genre around.